Well, Insta360 is not slowing down after the anti-gravity A1, and what we found in their new patents tells us they won't anytime soon. It hints at drones that look lighter, smarter, and more flexible for creators who want full 360 control. And once you connect these clues, you get a clear idea of where Insta360 wants to take its drone lineup. So let's walk through what we know, what the prototypes suggest, and what you can expect in the months ahead. And first, we need to talk about the A1, because that one sets the tone for the next wave. The A1 dropped on December 4th, 2025, and the media picked it up fast. This tiny under 250 gram drone records, 8K, 360 footage, and that already makes it a fun option for travel shooters or anyone who wants immersive footage without a bulky rig. However, the A1 is not the whole story. Insta360 is already moving toward multiple drones, and the A1 is just one part of that lineup. So, while DJI keeps pushing their standard drone path, Insta360 seems to lock in on something more niche, but also more experimental. And with every patent we checked, it felt clear that Insta360 is placing its energy on 360-focused flight systems rather than traditional camera drones. Now here is where things get interesting. A new compact prototype was spotted in the wild with a small black body, Insta360 branding on the top, foldable arms and circular prop guards. And if you have seen DJI's NEO series or the NEO 150 gram unit, you will instantly recognize the vibe. This prototype looks like Insta360's answer to ultra lightweight drones. And based on the design, it is almost certain that the weight falls into that same sub 150 gram range. Also, it keeps one mystery. Unlike the A1, we are not able to detect the position of the camera in the test unit. No visible 360 lenses and no clear element that tells you how the capture system works. So this forces us to treat it as a sleek, foldable, almost pocket-ready drone where the image system is still under wraps. And because this is Insta360, we expect a dual lens layout tucked into the frame in a way that hides protrusions for better aerodynamics. So if you like the idea of the DJI Neo, but always wished for a full 360 capture option, this seems like Insta360's direction for 2026. But the most surprising reveal shows up in the patent section with a central wing layout. And this one stands out because it places the fuselage and props outside the lens view. So you get fewer obstructions and a cleaner 360 stitch. The patent even claims up to 30% more flight time compared to a normal arm layout, which hints at better efficiency and more balanced weight. Besides that, the patent mentions up to 40% lower occlusion, so indoor capture becomes smoother. And if you ever tried shooting 360 indoors with a regular drone, you already know how messy prop shadows can be. So this design could become a very smart indoor tool for creators who want clean room scans or small space shots. And then we have the gesture control features that the A1 does not have. Insta360's patent shows gestures for takeoff, land, start record, zoom, and even emergency stop. So you picture yourself flying a small drone without a controller, and you make an OK sign or a peace sign to start actions. And because the system checks multiple frames for accuracy, it avoids false triggers. So this feels aimed at ultra compact drones, maybe even the one that matches the DJI Neo size. It makes sense for indoor sets or group videos where holding a controller ruins the flow. We also have the rotatable arm patent, which fits the idea of ultralight drones. The arms fold vertically against a cylindrical body and the guards collapse inward. And once you fold everything, the drone shrinks down by almost 60%. So, it slips into a pouch or pocket without any worry about lens damage. And with 360 lenses, that extra protection matters a lot. Another patent hints at a payload system under the drone. And even though this is not the main highlight, it shows where Insta360 might take future versions of the A1. This system includes an installation box under the fuselage. 
with slots for rapid scanning sensors or tiny payload drops. And when you pair that with the dual 8K lenses, the drone can create fast 3D maps. So once you mix fun flight features with these utility options, you get a drone that creators use for reels and pros use for scanning rooms, survey work, or quick rescue mapping. And that covers the drones and patents we have from Insta360 right now. So the direction feels clear. Lightweight builds, full 360 capture, new gesture controls, foldable designs, saucer layouts for clean indoor capture, and some pro-level mapping support in the background. And we will keep an eye on every new filing or test unit because Insta360 seems ready to expand its drone family in ways that give you more freedom without any heavy setup. That was all. Thanks for watching. Share your thoughts in the comments. If you found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more drone news and reviews.